So complex numbers. I really do like how this calculator handles complex numbers. I also enjoy how the HP 35S does it, and really I don't have a preference as to which one is better. Although I'm sure some people do. So right now I am in rectangular mode. I went to modes, I'm in rectangular. And if I want to enter in a complex number, I would enter in the Y portion, that would be the imaginary part, first. So say I want to enter in, oh, 10 plus I5. So I'd enter in the imaginary portion first, hit enter, enter in the real portion, and then do shift and change it to a complex number. And it shows me 5 I10. If I were in polar mode and I wanted to enter in oh, 15 at angle 36, that's a terrible angle symbol. And again, I'd enter in the angle first, so 36 and 15 and do complex. Okay, so that does it backwards. I guess I didn't notice that before. Or did I enter it wrong? No. Okay, so that does it the opposite way. I did not notice that earlier. Clearly I haven't used polar very much. If I change my uh, mode to radians, and that should go ahead and automatically shift the angle to radians. And it still kept the same magnitude there. And I can put complex numbers. I can do operations with complex numbers. So, um, let's see. 45 angle, 36. And then I multiply those together, etc. Um, to store a complex number, by default, at least when I got this calculator, I could not store in the register. So if I had a complex number, oh, and I tried to store it in, say, 0, 1, this is invalid type. But I could store it in a alpha register. So say A. I could store it there. To change that, I just enter in a complex number of zero. Change that to complex. So zero angle zero. And then Store that, add it to my registers. Um, all right. I'll figure that out later. The manual said you could add add zero to it and it would uh, make the registers complex. But Anyway, last thing is you can use it for um, figuring out problems with vectors, uh, two-dimensional vectors. So I'm going to change my mode to polar and enter these. So I have 170 at angle 143, that's complex, 185 at angle 62, add those together, and then 100 at angle 261, and then add that. Notice how it go ahead and, and uh, changes that to negative. 99 
So it goes from positive 180 to negative 180. And add that. And there's my resultant vector. So the sum of all of these is 179 at angle 111.